Yes. And we continue with Good Morning Kenya. In case you just tuned in, my name is Vivian Degua. I believe that you guys enjoyed the band that was right here a couple of minutes ago. Their voices are just mellow. And the testimony that was, you know, testified right there amazing amazing and now we get to we know that music breaks barriers including ma language barriers <laughs> language barrier as well and right here in studio i have justice tuno who sings in kalenjin as you have just listened to one of his songs by the name che bye bye ladies and gentlemen introduce you introducing for the very first time on the show justice Thank you. Justice, yes. welcome to the show. Thank you, Asante. How are you doing? I'm doing well, mm -hmm. fine. Yes. Let's talk about the song that we've just listened to, Che Bye Bye. Yes, yes. Tell me about it. Uh, che Bye Bye is a Kalenjin song. It means uh, somebody who is happy, a lady who is happy in Kalenjin, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I wrote it uh, 2000, in 2021. Around 17, it was on 17 December. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Nilikuwa ni mekatu kwa studio. Tunakuanga na studio. Mm -hmm. So I was relaxing and we had nothing to do. So Che Bye Bye came. And uh, I was remembering, uh, I was thinking about my sister mm -hmm. and my wife and my daughter. I have a daughter, Anaitwa Che Bye Bye. Mm -hmm. And my sister is always a happy person. Yeah. So it's for the ladies. It's for the ladies. Okay, not for thank men. you for that song. <laughs> and now, uh, as I've mentioned, uh, music just breaks barriers. You know sure. the language barriers. Yeah. Um, the very first time I got, or rather, I interacted with Kalenjin music is from Emikos Gay, uh, Akina Achekisin, and the way that you know, it's just they're beautiful songs. Yeah. So, what made you decide to go the Kalenjin way, singing in your mother tongue? Um, for me, I love my language. I love Kalenjin. Mm -hmm. So when I, uh, I sing using Kalenjin, I can express myself well. Rather than using Kiswahili, you know, Kiswahili will talk about me. I'm a little talk about you, I don't know, <laughs> English. Kizungu <laughs> pia. So using Kalenjin, mm -hmm. I can express myself well. Na naeza fikia from uh, my people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need the DJ. Unelewa Kalenjin. Umeelewa Kenya metuimbia leo. When you explain what I mean, but uh, for the first time, you can a song. Mm -hmm. um, I was just uh, jamming on a song. Mm -hmm. But uh, the way I can explain, yeah. you understand. Niki kuliza unique. Uneza sema wewe. Like, what does music mean to you? The fact that music, music in anini, you know, like. Unaza tuna vibe too. It doesn't matter if it's English, Swahili, Spanish, Kalenjin, like where kwako music in a manisha. According to me, music <laughs> me kwakina means like everything. Like to me, music is everything. Mm. That's what I live for. That's what I do like uh, twenty four seven. Now like music music is something that can uh, like propel you uh, according to the understanding of the song. Mm -hmm. So a song Song is something that's very powerful and it's something that can unite people from different places mm. because of the song. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Music kwako ina mean nini justice? Uh, music kwangu is all about communicating. Ni, uh, ni part of communication. And nge tungekua pamoja kama tuseme tuko kwa mkutano. Kuna manya anajua kuongea. But uh, kwangu mimi ni kiimba. Ndiyo naeza ku, kusema what I could have said uh, kwa hiyo mkutano. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So music ni kitu ina, ina nsaidia pia. Mm -hmm. Kugrow, kutoa stress. Ok, kuvibe tu. Mm -hmm. yeah. Na kukumunikia um, kwa watu. Alright. I, I didn't ask you when you began your journey in music and what exactly got you into it? Uh, my journey in music nilianza nikiwa mdogo. Ok, but uh, kurekod. Mm -hmm. Nilianza to juzi juzi. But kuimba nilianza nikiwa mdogo, nikiwa nursery school, maybe nikiwa nyumbani, nikiwa Sunday school, mimi nilelewa kwa Sunday school. Mm -hmm. So nilikuwa na imba kwa Sunday school. Na shule pia. Mm -hmm. So nilianza kitambo. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, recording nilianza 2007. Yeah, mm -hmm. 2007. Yeah. 
since 2007 wewe unaweza kusema which of your songs do you feel has been well received che bye bye che bye bye yeah yeah, yeah 2021 mm -hmm. you see you should do more songs for <laughs> ladies because you know ladies appreciate when people you know when you when you um when you just talk good about us we appreciate by the way ukitaka kufanya biashara mzuri fanya na ladies Actually, they say that by the way yeah. i don't know how true uh, that is ladies do appreciate actually hata yeah. wenyewe kwa wenyewe wao wanaappreciate yeah. yana mm. but men kidogo ah, kidogo <laughs> by the way to be celebrate girlfriend's day juzi tu juzi yeah. yeah. i don't know if you said something to girlfriend doesn't mean girlfriend girlfriend means a friend who's a girl yeah. did you appreciate your friend mimi nilijua juzi kwa girlfriend zana zana si bwana juzi all right so if you can just take us through your your process of writing your music eh kwangu mi uandika usiku naweza lala eh niki usingizi kisha that is when i can think ama kama kuna kitu nimeiona mahali ama tunaweza ongea kama sai kuna watu tuitapita kwa akili then i will nitaanza kufikiria ungemaanisha nini then i relate with biblia now I am a gospel artist. Mm -hmm. So nikirileta ma kwa sto, nikiona stories kwa Biblia. So naanza kuandika song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Na kulingana na au vile maisha sahi iko. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like uh, if maybe you had chosen to do your music maybe in Swahili or in English maybe ingeenda zaidi ama una feel tu kwa hii tu the niche that you have chosen is working for you? Mm, I have few songs in Kiswahili but je 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 fanya video mm -hmm. but uh, okay so do the reception video what I receive because you know uh, for us challenges they say to join Kiswahili sana so <laughs> lazima <laughs> What is that? Uh, I don't know it's true sijui uh, but unajua kuna kuna hiyo kufuatisha ngeli ama kufuatisha inaitwaje vitu mm. kama hizo mm -hmm. but i don't know uh, maybe by the grace of god maybe tenda mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. uh, there's something they say i don't know how true this is still yeah. on uh, using mother tongue uh, to deliver your music mm. uh, they say that uko ndo kwenye kuna pesa like uko ndo kwenye kuna pesa i've spoken to uh, artists who sing in kikuyu and artists who sing in luo and they say that uko ndo siria pesa iko uh, i don't know how true that is uh, a little bit around 60% but mali kuna pesa ni kiswahili i think so kwa sababu ina uh, the, the audience ni wengi more than kwa lugha yako mm -hmm. unajua kama nimeimba cha bye bye now it's only for kalenjins maybe okay but cha bye bye song imeimbwa na wamasai wa kikuyu the wa jaluo wa luya but kuna songs of course hawata hawata imba so itakuwa tu uh, directly to kalenjins mm -hmm. so the only thing ambayo naweza sema iko na pesa ni juu wata ku invite kwa their functions mm -hmm. especially hizi za mashere so hapo ndio kuna pesa yeah yeah okay, but usipoa walikwa mhm mm utaangalia tu youtube <laughs> na sikiza tunes mm -hmm. yeah um speaking of kukua invited yeah. to functions uh you do perform right yeah, you do yeah, perform yeah. live yeah, yeah. which has been your best performance yet mm. which song or yeah like which stage maybe has been the stage I that think, you actually can talk about i think all of them and you may be invited since 2022 you're being modest about this. Tu ambie tu nikufurahisha zaidi. Usiseme zote. Ni zote kwa sababu eh I think ni zote tu na furahi yanga. Na furahi ya kila mtu kwa sababu kila mtu ako na eh ina depend vile umepanga sherehe yako. So nikifika vile umepanga nitaingia tu pamoja tuimbe pamoja wote. Na the best the best part ya eh ninapoimba ni wakati wa mama wanafurahia lakini ukifika kama wa mama hajafurahia ladies hawafurahi unajua wazee hawataamka of course <laughs> just just ameamua yani yeye mziki yake is for the ladies <laughs> because <laughs> leo okay. unasifu tu akina mama eh yeah, yeah, hao ndio wana, wana, wana hype sherehe by the way mm. yeah without them hakuna sherehe mm -hmm. tutapiga story kama wazee tu story ya ball siasa nimesha yeah <laughs>
Unique uko na swali kwa Justus. Yeah, I see you I have a lot. But now uh, for the first question I just want to ask you maybe any person maybe you're looking up to kwa industry maybe you want to work with him or her. Eh kuna wengi lakini ni wa kalenji. Mostly sije 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 na wengi sana kwa Kiswahili kwa these other sector but eh kuna mzee anaitwa Jail Kimeto tangu nikiwa mtoto nilikuwa nime, nilikuwa nasikiza nyimbo zake mm-hmm. na napenda vile ana ako consistent so napenda sana vile ako consistent huyo yeah. ni mtu naweza sema ningetaka kuiga mfano wake no. mm. oh. yeah um you spoke about consistency and my question is how difficult or easy is it for an artist to become consistent because mziki ndo utoe mziki u release mziki it needs money yeah. and most of the times maybe money is a challenge so just if you may speak for yourself how difficult or easy it, is it for you to be consistent whereby maybe we are getting a song from you each and every month uh, it's very difficult but kwa sababu ni kitu napenda lazima ni ngangane lazima ni on a way forward how can i do it using uh, of course we are friends kama sasa hii tumewatana na nyinyi mm-hmm. uh, maybe kesho mnaweza niambia we are sponsoring one song <laughs> so uh, ni, yeah ni friends <laughs> <laughs> ni friends alafu of course fans wana wanategea something new each and every time mm-hmm. na lazima pia ungangane usinyamaze sana of course uh, kuna wakati wa kunyamaza na kama Mungu amekubali huwa huitu say no Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um your kind of music is gospel music for anyone who maybe hasn't noticed yeah, just yeah. yet. You do gospel music. Yeah. How would you describe the gospel uh ministry? Cuz you guys don't call it industry. How would you describe the gospel uh, <laughs> ministry at the moment in the country? Uh on my side uh, my, uh, what I can say is uh, gospel ministry Simba mm-hmm. iko mzuri. Okay kwangu kwa sababu nafurahia and apart from doing music kuna vitu nafanya so sitegemei sana music nilipe mm-hmm. kwa sababu nikitegemea sana nitapata nimeenda secular kwa sababu secular iko na pesa mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. but ya haraka mm-hmm. but gospel aina eh, especially ukisema tunaenda church church is does and pay awalipi yeah. watakwambia kuja kuja jiuze o oh, kuja kuja huduma Mungu atakubariki na pasta na pesa sadaka aya yeye ni tu atumika of course uh, they should appreciate the gospel uh, artist kwa sababu kwenda studio pia si rahisi it's expensive mm-hmm. kufanya video si si rahisi mpaka wakujue Mm-hmm. It means wali kujua through music. Mm-hmm. So they should appreciate that talent. Yeah, you that talent. For you to make money lazima maybe you switch and we've seen so many people switching to uh, the secular industry. But what should be done in order to just save uh, okay, let me not use the word save. What should be done in order for you as a gospel minister to start earning money? Who is supposed to, you know, do things that is not doing it at the moment? How do you guys make your money? Who is going to help you start making your money so that we stop seeing these switches mtu ametoka gospel ameenda secular simply because they want to make their money, they want to earn a living. Uh, for first uh, the heart is first. Shwa wacha tama. Ya kutaka vitu za haraka. Unajua ukiwa na tamaa pia eh utajipata ume ume switch. Mm-hmm. Uh, apili, uh, the, the, the gospel industry wanafaa ku appreciate their own. Ama sisi wote tu appreciate the gospel artist kwa sababu wakati uko na stress most of us listen to uh, gospel music mm-hmm. kupata that nourishment. But now uh, ukitaka kualika like ukiwa na function hauwezi mwalika. Mm-hmm. So it is good umwalike to your function patia kitu kidogo and watakuwa wamesaidika. Mm-hmm. Uh, pili I can I, I want to encourage uh, gospel artists kwamba apart from doing that music tafuta kitu kingine biashara. Mhm. Yeah, ni unaweza fanya ambao inaweza kukusaidia. Yeah. Okay. I I've taken my phone <coughs> because I want to make sure E Gina nitaipata correct. That's the yeah. new song that you've just released. It's actually around yeah. two weeks old. Yeah. Inaitwa 
<laughs> correct me <beer. laughs> <laughs> Epstein eats sainyu yeah. Epstein eats sainyu Mesema vizuri buni ya bible na ipo no Epstein sainyu eh Epstein eats sainyu Epstein eats sainyu eh vile umesema tu iko sawa Epstein sainyu ah okay <laughs> <laughs> so Epstein eats sainyu tell me about that song oh, it's uh, when i listen to it it's it's a worship song yeah it's tell a worship song it. it's a song ambayo inasema god listen to my prayer whatever i'm going through just listen to it come mm-hmm. uh, usiniache yeah mm-hmm. it's just your prayer vile unavyoomba mungu nisaidie it's just your prayer pure prayer yeah, yeah. Mm. okay um uh, before we get to listen to it as we finish up yeah. with you um unaweza kutuambia watu where they can find you where can they can get to listen to this song as well as other songs yes uh, mimi niko kwa youtube Uh, YouTube channel ni Justus Tuno. Mm. Uh, Facebook ni Tuno Justus Junior and mm-hmm. the Challenge in Finest my page. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kitaka kunipata pia unaweza nipigia the best unikupigia simu. Mm-hmm. That is uh, 0728722897. I have only one number. Okay. Sina namba nyingine. You don't mind sharing your number? No, so I don't mind. Tabata wa simu nyingi sana. Ah, uh, bora tu kwa biashara. Sikuwe okay. vitu zingine. Okay, DJ, yeah. I believe you have that song. Yes. Tuisikize as he also performs it. Yeah. Okay.